Hi everybody, so we are, this is a, a dreary day, so welcome to Traveling Soulmates. We have left Arkansas and headed to Mississippi, and so it rained all day yesterday, more stormed all day yesterday. Yes. So my lovely husband over there. So uh, yeah, it's been uh, it's been a great week so far and rained like mama said yesterday and we're driving down to Vicksburg, Mississippi right now and we're in the rain again. But uh, uh, we just stopped off and you know went to the restroom and walked poor Chaser Rona around our dog and uh, picked up some catfish. I love catfish. And I got some chicken tenders, but they wasn't three for seven dollars. They were three for like three dollars. So it's, it's a lot better. But other than that, the place we just left was great. Peaceful. The name of that was, what's it again, Mama? The, the RV place we stayed at? Um, it was Cloud Nine. Cloud Nine RV Park. And it is Sam's Sam's Choice. Uh, Sam's Choice. Sam's Choice Club members. Um, they welcome them to get a discount there. And we're headed to Vicksburg and they're doing the same thing there. So it's going to be really cool to see that because, you know, going to college and do my history classes, I always wanted to go to Vicksburg anyways because of the turning point of the Civil War and also getting ready to go there. And uh, I can't wait. I'm pretty excited. Uh, I got a buddy and him and his family live and two hours away from Vicksburg so hopefully we can get to see them and hang out a little bit and catch up on some some old stories and catch up what everybody's up to but uh, right now it's a pretty gloomy day but uh, hey that's just part of being in a traveling world I guess so uh, and wow Arkansas poor place it just seems like it's just flooded Edward standing water I just hope these guys can get ready to start planting. It's going to help out the economy. If it don't, it's really going to hurt. But uh, right now we're doing great. Me and Mama's doing outstanding. Not a big fan of sitting in a camper all day yesterday, but uh, me and Chase, we got out several times yesterday just to walk around and dump roll and stuff, but it was pretty cool. But other than that, we're doing outstanding. Loving it, loving it, loving it. So... Say hi, Jay. Hey. That's our Jay, baby boy. Say hi. <laughs> Does he want some chicken tenders too? <laughs> so, but um, day before yesterday, we was able to get out, and I should have done my research a little bit better. Um, so, we went downtown uh, Hot Springs, and um, it was it was just just absolutely a, just gorgeous. So. If you are ever in Hot Springs, Arkansas, you really need to go down there. Um, they have gorgeous, gorgeous uh, bathhouses down there, all on the right side of the road. I mean, I couldn't tell you how many they had, but the, beautiful the, buildings. Just, uh, yes, yes, just beautiful buildings. Historic beautiful. buildings. Yes, historical buildings. Um, and then all over on the left side of the buildings, they are, I'm sorry, the roads, um, was all these shops that you could shop at, um, ice cream parlors, um, restaurants of all sorts. And, and some breweries too. Yes, and some <laughs> breweries too, and breweries. Mm. But I should have done more research on it because yeah. I I didn't expect it to be that way. So we weren't able to uh, stop and get out and walk around because I didn't do my research. And then, but right smack dab in the middle of the town was this gorgeous, just gorgeous hotel and the hotel the hotel is the Arlington Hotel and it is just beautiful that you can stay at and so yeah if you if you're ever down here then you, you need to take a trip down and take a look at these shops and and down in in Hot Springs Arkansas it is it is worth the, your
you're wild to go down there and see these. Um, and like, like Ray was saying, this um, campsite that we were at, very clean, very, very, very quiet. Um, the lady I met, the lady this morning, believe it or not, I let her, I met her this morning, and I told her that I, that I very, I really, really love the campsite, and that it would be one that I would, I would return to. So um, they had thirty amp, and, they had thirty amp and fifty amp, free Wi-Fi. Free cable. Um, I don't know if it's free. You still got to pay the bill, but yeah. you had cable. You had Wi-Fi. The Wi-Fi was great. We was on Paramount. We was on Paramount Plus watching movies, and we had no interruptions whatsoever. It was, it was amazing. None. Had cable, Wi-Fi, 30, 50 amp hookups, water, sewage, everything, and that's 30, 50 amp per site. Yes. So you don't have to say, "Hey, I need a 50 amp." It, yeah. They're automatic there. So that was pretty cool. Yeah. Didn't need a booster. You, you didn't. Nope. You do, didn't need a booster at all. So, um, but other than that, I would love to. <laughs> this is this is just horrible. So before I close, I just want to turn you around and yeah. um, show you. If <laughs> look at just, just take a look at this. This is this is horrible. These people here. Are flooded, and that's not the worst of it. Either. Yeah, I mean, that's just a little piece. Yeah, these fields are just flat. We out. just passed a home. They're whole. They're flooded in. Yeah, they're the whole the house. The whole house. I mean, covered. their cars was flooded in and everything, and it's just horrible. But man, so but hey, um, we'll keep you updated on our trip. So. Uh, Vicksburg bound, baby. Vicksburg bound. Vicksburg bound. Hopefully it's not raining. <laughs> and hopefully it's not raining. So, so this is, uh, once again, this is the uh, Traveling Soulmates. Me and my baby doll. <laughs> oh, just a few things. Um, we have a, um, a 2022 um, 2500 series Dodge Gas. It's a 6.4 liter. And we're averaging about, um, from our first trip, was we averaged 10 and a half miles to gallon. Um, I went and talked to some folks around the travel site because this is new for me and Mamas. And some people are getting eight. And some people said we, we might get lucky and get 11. So we got a 2022 Dodge 2500, 6.4 liter. And we got a 30 foot uh, uh, camper. And uh, roughly with everything, it's about 7,000 pounds, maybe more. But other than that, uh, she's cruising right along, and I, I guess we're getting better than average and fuel mileage, but um, you just gotta watch where you're going to get fuel. Um, when we left Missouri, it was, I think it was 3.30 a gallon. Um, we got into Arkansas, and we found a place, and it was two, what was it, 2.84 or something like that. So, something like that. yeah, just definitely, if you're gonna do this, just shop around get on that weapon system called google and search around and find you some good fuel mileage or fuel so you can save a lot of money because um hopefully hopefully it gets better for all of us out there on the roads like we're doing right now but uh, we just say want to thank you all for watching us and i hope you enjoy this because we're learning just as much as you are because this is new to me and mamas we travel the world but we never traveled the united states so this is going to be a a blessing for both of us and see some things that our forefathers um, and our grandmas and great great grandmas went through and so it's I'm 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 pretty excited just to see how far we came I know we have came but well, like Shiley we are blessed because there's a lot of people out there in third world countries still living on dirt floors so I've been around but uh, just want to thank you all so hey like and subscribe it's gonna be it's gonna be a trip all right bye so yes please like and subscribe hit that subscribe button in the lower right hand button our right hand screen and uh, keep up on our videos and it's all up to you guys to keep us up here and um, 
see you later. See you later.